here's a question from the forum. This is forum.tokenmetrics.com. Trade when bullish and invest for bear. You'll have to excuse my ignorance. I've been able to build one decent portfolio from 5 to 13K in the past two weeks. Congratulations. That's good. I was considering weekly trading based on the token metrics indices until I start seeing negative ROI for the week and then switch to quarterly investing indices. Does this seem like a good idea? Any other suggestions? I'm using Coinbase uh, FYI. Uh, good question. Good question. So in general, we've seen that in a bear market, the shorter time frame indices do a lot better because they're not holding any asset for too long. So meaning that daily and weekly work best during a market correction or crash. So for example, back in September when alts tanked 30, 40% that month, or maybe during uh, the pandemic back in March last year. So when there's, when the market is crashing, daily and weekly indices are the best to be in, kind of based on the history of our analysis. But during a bull run, like alt season, like now, the long-term indices are a lot better, meaning the quarterly and the yearly. So for example, you, you said you're, you're in the Coinbase uh, index, right? So if we go to our platform here, right? So investor, yearly, Coinbase, right? This one has been, this one's up 31% uh, since we made the update this, this month. And this one has been doing pretty well uh, versus Bitcoin. If we go here, the top movers have been Dash, Dash is up over 100%. These are basically Coinbase large cap coins. So if you compare this, and if we go to the daily, right? Daily Coinbase, same one, right? You notice that daily is not doing so well right now because as mentioned, during a bull run, as we're in now, it's not really good to be trading too much, over trading. As you see here, the ROI is not really there because it's not really letting the winners ride. Right, you want to let the winners ride when the market is going up. Right, that, that's how that, that's how you capture those large run-ups, those rallies, and the long-term indices do do that a lot better. So, if you want something, so going back to your question here, let me just make sure I'm answering the question. Uh, so, you're thinking of doing the weekly indices uh, until it turns negative, and then switching to quarterly. Uh, I see in this market now, I would probably do quarterly or yearly. Um, but if you're looking to trade, then that's kind of different. Uh, let's do, let's check monthly Coinbase. I mean, because right now you want to be, make sure you're capturing. Okay. So monthly is actually doing a lot better. Uh, Coinbase 50%, it's basically in the graph, Bitcoin, ETH and USD coin. If we go to the weekly Coinbase index. Yeah. So, I mean, I think, yeah, so weekly is not doing too well. So I think probably the, the monthly is probably your best option, in my opinion, if you want to trade, but still capture those rallies. Okay, when it comes to Coinbase, Coinbase is a place where you're going to go and, you know, if you hit the jackpot, you'll get a 3x. But most of the time on Coinbase, you're trying to get a 40% return or 1x. So I find that using monthly, quarterly, or even yearly indices, to try to pick coins to hold, even if you don't hold them for a year, I think on Coinbase in particular, you know, our analytics that are longer term can be useful for both longer term investing and saying, okay, this is what I think might get hot over the next month. Because again, you know, Coinbase is not the thousand X zone or the hundred X zone where you're looking at really small projects. So monthly, quarterly, better idea for Coinbase. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com.